Hey guys, it's Tony the Soy Sauce Assassin, and if you're looking for me, I'm still not here. Every single day. Okay, welcome to today's episode of I'm Not Here Again review. And uh, yep, I'm somewhere in somewhere in middle of somewhere that I cannot be with you guys to do, uh, you know, our usual live chat and stuff like that. So today, let's talk about something different. As you guys already know, that I personally do not prefer uh, subscription boxes. I, I don't do that a lot, and I, I usually don't. And you know, a lot of you has told me say. Hey, Give that a try. It's pretty good. I never had a problem. I deal with it. I like it. Blah blah blah. blah. So, to solve that problem, I subscribe to one of them, which is the Privada Club. I believe that's called. And、um, I give it two months. Okay. So, I haven't smoked any of them yet because I want to show you guys what I got and let you judge whether or not that's worth your money. And.、Uh, So I'll show you guys one of them and the other one I just received today, literally,、uh, or at the time of the recording, of course. So this is what I received the first time. If I can open it, because、uh, I might have taped it up again. All right, this is what I received the second.、Time. This is what I received the first time, right? Yes. Yeah. So this is what I received the first time. Inside the box looks like this. So、uh, they do charge you shipping, okay? So with shipping, I think it's just under thirty bucks. So consider this about thirty bucks. And so box probably costs a dollar, and shipping costs a few. And they have the printing of like a description of what you get, okay? So、uh, for this one is Carwell, Long Live the King, Adoro, Head and Run,、uh, Pot Dukes, Amos Robusto,、uh, and Lost and Found, Cigars Paradise. In this particular order, I think only the Lost and Found was rare. To be really honest, with you, because I, I think I've gotten all the other ones before. But that also de de、uh, depends on how often you buy cigars. If you buy cigar a lot, you trade a lot, then a lot of these you're gonna you will be seeing it a lot. So it does come with a really tiny pack of Bolita, and it comes with this like、uh, foil lined bo-、uh, bags to keep it fresh. And here's the three cigars I got. Right, so.、Uh, That's the paradise. That's the one on one. The Carwell.、Uh, this is the hit and run. And、uh, long last the king. That's the three I got. All right. So, granted, this is the three you got for thirty dollars. You have to ask yourself whether or not that's worth thirty dollars you. Because some of the time that you might have the same cigars. You might have the same cigars, and the、uh, and a lot of time you might get cigars that you don't care for. So let's see what I actually got this week. That's last week. I didn't smoke it at all. I just leave it in the box so that we can do、uh, an honest review on it. I don't want to tell you guys what I got and actually smoke them all and then go, yeah. So that wasn't what I like. No, yeah. I'm just gonna show you exactly what I got. Going to I open this box funny. That's what it is. Same old stuff. And this time they actually fold it. The previous time they just shoved it in there. All、right, so this one says Sinestro Last Cowboy Maduro Lancero,、uh, Privita Club exclusive, and Lancero is definitely my not my thing, and I got Lancero, right? And Cruz Crux Epicure Short Solomon Limited Edition. Okay, that sounds like a rare one, and it has some tasty knowing there. It has some pairing notes, and that's pretty much it. So I suppose there's only two cigars in here. No, this three cigar. What? So I'm gonna rip it open and open it up. Okay, there's three cigars. What? Right. So also comes with the Bovita pack. And let's see, we got the Crocs、uh, Epicure like this. 
like that. Uh, it's like a mini, mini Solomon size. Not too bad. Uh, last cowboy. Oh, okay. Uh, it looks pretty cool from from Sinestro, but it is a Lancero, and Lancero is not my thing usually. Usually. And this is Air uh, Air Ace. Aries, Aries Limited. I think somebody asked me about that Aries before. I think they're a Canadian company. They're correcting me, but I'll leave in the comment if I'm wrong. Let me know. Handmade imported. This is called the Dark Horse. The Dark Horse. So out of these three cigars, do you feel like it's worth thirty dollar? So each one average to be ten dollars of your money. Granted, they're gonna say it's twenty four, but you know. Kind of shipping all that box and stuff, you're paying for it. But, you know, is it worth your money? It's up to you to decide. It's up to you to decide. For me, you know, again, I wouldn't have spent the money to buy any Lancero for any reason. So for me, that's like kicking the butt. So I might have bought this one only just because this one's something that intrigued me. The other two, I probably would never buy it uh, for myself if I saw this, saw these in store. So. Uh, it's kind of like forcing yourself to to get something to try but you know for me if I get something like this these are gonna sit in the bottom of my humidor so technically it's a waste of money for me for me might not be for you you might want to try all of them but these are gonna sit in the bottom of my humidor and never be found again so you know for me that might not make sense I'm gonna give one more month on this and basically do a follow-up on this to show you guys again uh, what would the third month look like and after a few months you'll start to see a trend of how those money uh, kind of like is it worth it for me every single month or is it not worth it for me every single month so far you see I don't smoke any of them because you know I usually buy what I prefer to smoke to smoke and I will try the different stuff if it intrigues me but being forced to uh, or in a way forced to try something new is just not my thing because uh, it has to first attract me to smoke it right now it's just basically like because I spend the money on it I might as well smoke it and they granted they might be good they might be good and uh, but you know if it's not your usual palate and stuff like that you really had to find that time where you go hey, I want to try something different today to smoke these because if you have your regular daily cigar, you have your weekly cigar and stuff like that, you're not gonna have time to try these, right? You get, once you try it, then you, you that day you don't get to smoke the one that you usually smoke. So it makes a difference. Something like this is, you know, it's more likely I would uh, I would give that kind of stuff a try if I go to a lounge where I didn't bring enough cigar or whatever. I just buy something different I never tried before. But you know, at home. Chances are I won't I won't have time to smoke these. I won't have time to. As you can see the previous bag, I didn't even touch it. <laughs> I didn't even touch it. So just that, that's the way it is. That's the way it is. So up and whether or not is uh, worth it to you, it's up to you to judge. I hope you get you find this information uh, useful. It's a very short video. It's not long. Um, you know, maybe I'll shove some information be between. But I personally don't find so far the two boxes worth the twenty four to me. To, to, to be honest with you, I, I, don't, I don't find that uh, worth the 24 to me, uh, granted at 30, you know, that's shipping, but you can't really blame them for shipping, uh, but at $30, I'll probably rather have one stick that I really wanted, rather than the three stick of, out of that, two of them, I don't really care. So yeah, I hope you find this information uh, useful, and enjoy your Wednesday. Um, and hopefully I'll see you guys in between. Alright, be saucy. See you guys next time. Goodbye.